Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We're off location yet again, but guess what? That doesn't mean you can't do a good beer review. It might have to be my, one of my new taglines there. All right, so tonight, Duchess Brewing Company out of Bent, Oregon. What we have here is their uh, freshly squeezed IPA. It's got this really cool hop being just pressed by these two wooden uh, presses. Um, really cool label here with the mountains. I know the lighting isn't great, but um, love love the, the marketing and the in the uh, the label here. Uh, we've only reviewed two or three beers from them. Um, we're on the East Coast, so we don't get a lot of them. Uh, but they are becoming more common. Uh, it says family and employee owned since 1988. IBUs are 60, and ABVs are 6.4 percent. Um, let me see what we else can tell you. Give me one second here. I fact went to sleep. It's a juice. It's a juicy citrus and grapefruit grapefruit flavor profile, as if fresh citra and mosaic hops weren't squeezed straight into the bottle. I love it. Um, available year round, this mouth watering, delicious IPA gets its flavor from a heavily helping of citra and mosaic hops. Don't worry, no fruit was harmed in the making of this beer. That's really funny, actually. Um, yeah. So um, I mean. Citric and, mo and mosaic hops. There's also nuggets in there. Those two really lend to a a, a very um, citrus background. Um, they typically kind of have that piney flavor, piney aroma uh, to it as well. Wow, darker than I expected. Um, probably because of the citrusness in there. Um, sorry for the little teeny glass. That's all I have. Um, definitely has a very dark orange, almost amberish color. Um, um, most IPAs are a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more orange, uh, less orange, a little more straw yellowy color, but um, it's got a little bit of carbonation, looks perfect, uh, very filtered, nice little head on it. Man, that smells good. Ooh very, very, as I said, fruity. Oranges and tons of grapefruit, very resinous. Um, you can tell that it's, it's very fresh. The hot background is really, really nice. And just a tad bit of malt that you can kind of smell, but not much. They used a pale crystal and music malt. So cheers, let's get into this thing. Oh, that's good. Wow, that's really good. It's got this really cool aftertaste in the background. Um, nice upfront, real kind of explosion of the fruity sweetness. Like I said, real grapefruity, real, real, um, it just, you can literally feel it or taste the, the juices. Very fresh. Um, it kind of fades into that hot profile in the back of your palate, and then it's got this almost real, uh, almost like candy sweetness at the end, which normally I wouldn't like, but it's like got a really cool aftertaste. Um, I think a lot of it, my guess would be, is that that big time coating of those fresh hops in there, and complementing obviously the ones they use with the uh, citrus juices in there. That is very, very good. I would buy this on a regular basis if I could get this on a consistent uh, level. Man, that's good. The aftertaste is awesome. I think I've said that already. Um, I would rate this on a range of 1 to 5, about a 4.5, um, if not a 5. This is one of the best beers I've had so far in 2016. This is surprisingly good. It's different, too. It's It's got a fruity profile, but it's got that cool aftertaste. And, the, whatever they, the blend of the citronum, the mosaic, the nugget hops in there, man, this sucker is good. I paid like $13 for the six pack, and I would buy these again without question. Awesome beer. So, let us know if you try it. Leave comments on your YouTube channel or website. We appreciate you watching. Upload all the time. Please subscribe to the channel.